Hello everyone, welcome to Mojo for Industry Presents Digital Dialogue on Laser Cutting in Smart Manufacturing sponsored by Mesa Cutting Systems India. My name is Subhjit Roy and I will be your host for this insightful session. Thank you for joining us today as we dive into the cutting edge technology that is reshaping manufacturing industries worldwide. Laser cutting powered by smart manufacturing techniques. We will cover how laser cutting integrates with smart technologies to increase efficiency, precision and of course flexibility. Highly skilled experts from Mesa Cutting Systems India, Mr. Dwai Swami Ravi Chandran, DGM Product Management and Mr. Karthik M, Manager Product Management will, will share their insights into how integrating laser cutting with smart manufacturing techniques enhances precision, boosts productivity and ensures high quality outputs. So our first speaker is Mr. Karthik M. We are excited to hear from him on the advantages of laser cutting systems in manufacturing and integration of laser cutting with smart manufacturing. Over to Mr. Karthik. So, as Mr. Subji said, uh, we're from Messer. It's like 125 years old company and we have five global locations and the parent is of course from Germany. And uh, on the right side, you see our current uh, operating CEOs with the fourth generation leadership. So everybody knows that you know we are into thermal cutting equipments and basically the thermal cutting process is split into three segments that is oxyfuel, plasma and laser. And as I said, it is the oxyfuel is the very old uh, on the traditional method of cutting where the thickness or the capacity of cutting is, is much higher when you compare with plasma and laser, uh, it goes up to 300 mm. So it's a it's a very basic process that you heat the metal, blow the metal, and then it, it starts melting away. I would say the conventional type of cutting is replaced nowadays with the laser. So that's the reason that we are having this session, why laser, why we need to go for laser, or what are the advantages, or what are the specific things that uh, laser gives more than oxyfuel or more than plasma. And uh, here is, the, the capacity that you can compare of why oxyfuel, when to choose oxyfuel, when to choose uh, plasma, and when to choose laser. You can go for intricate cutting, you can go for accuracy. So when you want to com combine the, the, the accuracy with uh, with a clean cut, or I would say with a, with a nice uh, finish, then obviously uh, it is, a, I would say it is a two different techniques of plasma and oxyfuel combined to one. So two different advantages combined to single that is this laser. So we see there is a rapid change or the rapid growth that is happening from plasma to laser. And these are like what I said the as advantages that is the first thing is precision and accuracy. So definitely onto the intricate cuts with tight tolerances, laser is going to play a major role. And whereas when you compare the material versatility, so material versatility what I mean is while you compare the mild steel to plasma and laser, it more or less it is, I would say it is the same. But when you go for the non ferrous metals like, such as aluminium, stainless steel or, or brass for that matter, plasma, the rate of material loss and the rate of uh, the, the, the rate that you lose material or the accuracy or the savings what you get from laser cutting versus plasma cutting, laser has much, much, much advantages over the plasma so I mean the heat affected zone is the area or the path of cutting which when done by plasma versus laser the heat affected zone is much 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 less than uh, when you compare uh, plasma and laser laser is much laser so that is again one of the reason while when you want to do a, a post processing on a cut hole or a cut slot uh, laser gives you much more easier process than a plasma because the heat affected zone is much higher in plasma. And when you can, you know, uh, check the speed and efficiency, obviously, uh, plasma definitely takes a higher position when you go for higher thickness, uh, whereas in uh, the lower thickness, laser is unmatchable. The speeds go up to 30 meter, 35 meters for a, for a 0.5, 1 mm sheet of stainless steel or a mild steel. The speed is so higher that even, uh, even the fastest uh, process cannot match the the till date i think the laser is the only process with which you can go for that higher speeds of 35 meter per minute or 40 meter per minute with high power laser and obviously the, the running cost the running cost plays again a major role while you want to choose the process so 
with the advantage of laser definitely the running cost is much lesser when compared to plasma so uh, as i said in, in the beginning it, it is having a both advantage and the disadvantage so we better choose the process based on our end application so we try to find the application in a better manner and then we suggest our customers to go for whether to opt for a plasma system or an optical system or to the laser system so the advantage when you go for high power laser is that you can opt the air cutting process much much affordable because uh, high power laser gives more uh, it, it leverages the air cutting uh, efficiency the air cutting process which makes the running cost even more lesser than traditional uh, one so our next speaker is mr duel swami ravi chandran he has a deep understanding of how smart technologies can unlock new possibilities in laser cutting is going to share his valuable insights on the role of automation in laser cutting and how it helps in increasing productivity and minimizing downtime so welcome mr ravichandra so why why we need automation now, automation has become a, it's like a, uh, it's not a, a luxury but a necessity in our daily life and in cutting industry or the fabrication industry why is it that we need automation So, if you don't have automation, then that will be a case where you will be underutilizing the machine. Machine will be waiting for material. It will be waiting for uh, the one process after the other. It has to uh, wait for the material to flow. So, all those type of things. So, automation is not just automating it; it is digitizing it so that you can analyze. Also. So, majorly, if you need automation, the two areas where you want to automation are. it's on the material hand how you take in the raw material how you store it how you uh, shift it and then how you feed it onto the machine after you do the process how you can uh, actually affect the workflow from moving from one process center to the other process center or else taking it sorting it packing it all those things and the second is process digitization so optimizing the product uh, the process flow monitoring in the real time so that uh, what is being planned is executed or is there is any lag in the actual execution and if there is any lag how do you use the data to analyze it and so that in future you can avoid this occurrence of uh, uh, what you can say is non adherence to the plan time when you use an automation or you have predefined places for storing and retrieving if you have having a uh, automation installed for really 1 crore or 1 and a half crores your saving will be direct saving will be somewhere on 8 to 10 lakhs per year i'm paying but it's not the case when you look into a bigger perspective so when you have a storage and retrieval system you are reducing the space of storage and your inventory you are planning the inventory well so there will be a reduction in inventory and there will be a uh, reduced wastage also and ultimately the productivity will will increase by at least around 15 to 25% i i've taken an average of 20% so even if doing it a very conservative calculation your saving or your return of investment will be maximum of 3 years with any automation being installed so benefits of automation you have increased productivity lowered operating cost and increased product quality then improved worker safety because for you uh, performing the unsafe work the equipment will work and since the equipment is going to do the repetitive or tedious jobs your your man manpower can be used for more creative working and this will definitely make us uh, plan our work workflow better and then better use of uh, flow space is ensured uh, and then with all this decreased environmental footprint now coming to the end of this session the uh, current trends and innovation in the laser cutting industry are high power lasers uh, you i uh, you'll be shocked to know that right now uh, people are are uh, actually testing somewhere around 120 uh, 
kilowatts on and 150 kilowatts so that you can cut more than 250 mm thick uh, material so it's like uh, people are looking at using laser which is more uh, environmental friendly than the oxyfill in plasma and it's like the uh, earlier it was only oxygen nitrogen and air which is being used as cut gases now uh, for much better technology technological if by technological improvement people are looking into nitrogen enriched air and mixed gas like you can control the uh, composition of nitrogen and oxygen in a, a given volume of uh, gas so that your gas utilization is reduced and your cutting uh, quality increases and then uh, bevel cutting which was not a uh, big thing in laser uh, earlier has now uh, come in existence uh, that is people have started doing more of laser beveling the cutting uh, surfaces are much better than plasma cutting has less uh, taper than what you get on a plasma cutting so these are all the trends in uh, laser cutting and regarding automation process digitization and it's not single machine end to end automation with uh, material storage retrieving ro ro loading and parts sorting put into one uh, nowadays we are seeing increasing uh, shop floors uh, which used to have at least uh, 20 to 30 people working that working uh, reduced to two or three people with uh, uh, fully automated uh, material movement even using uh, AGVs for uh, shifting uh, cut parts from one line to the other line. So such is the uh, transition happening on automation. And with all these things, process analysis for future optimization. So the real-time feedback of uh, the machine uh, gives uh, an opportunity to analyze the uh, the uh, process and to optimize to reduce the bottlenecks. Yeah, to add one more point to Ravi sir's uh, 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 the, the delivery of quality, I would uh, recommend you know or also request uh, customers who are interested to see how the way we build machines, uh, they can directly experience it, and people are welcome to our factory to, to see the machine building process. How do we make it over here with all the quality practices in place? So, in uh, thank you, Ravi Chandan sir, and Karthik once again. So, in conclusion, we can say laser cutting is not not just a tool it's a transformative technology in the era of smart manufacturing by leveraging the precision flexibility and automation capabilities of laser cutting manufacturers can stay competitive and meet the demands of modern production environments we hope you have enjoyed this episode of Vujapur industry presents digital dialogue on laser cutting in smart manufacturing sponsored by Mr. cutting systems india hello friends if you enjoyed watching this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content.